What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I don't have any fights for you guys, but I'm gonna open up some packs that I got from the live events. As you see, I got the bronze, silver, and gold, because I just did the 10 fights. I almost got my 3 losses, but I managed to get in, you know, 10 fights without getting the 3 losses, just so I can get those packs. And I guess when you get a bronze, silver, and gold, I guess you get... A premium pack with them so I'll open those two I didn't realize that I got premium packs with those so I'm gonna open up those for you guys too so let's hope I get something good in those bronze silver and gold packs I'm just kind of hoping that you get something good you're guaranteed at least uh, one level four fighter showcase 10,000 coins coins are always good and the bronze you're guaranteed a level 3 which is okay but let's start with these premium packs just I just hope I get something good here I really do sometimes in premium packs you can get something good got some level 4's in there over under throw attribute cards that's what I like Plus four off the back. Uh, that's okay for clinch. If you want to get your clinch up there, my heavyweight. Ooh, I don't like the minus movement. But at this point, because I'm so far in Ultimate Team, attribute cards are actually more important to me than move cards. Because I'm trying to get my attributes up there and. I can't really put any more moves on my guys unless I unless I take something off. Middleweight, go on Potter from full mount. Go on Potter from rubber guard. From a heavyweight, I might have to make a middleweight guy. I know I know I keep saying that in almost every Ultimate Team video pack opening. Heel hook from set guard, but I got so many middleweight cards. I just ha I should make a middleweight because I have. So so many cards, I could probably make them really good. But not some bad cards, all move cards in this one. We'll send them to the collection. I might use them. Middleweight tornado kick, lead elbow. I'm more interested in these. These attribute cards are here. Middle weight though. Freestyle lightweight, that's good. Joint sub, joint defense. Joint sub defense. It's always good. But minus four takedown defense. So see, I don't know if I'd put that on there. I mean I probably will. Just to help out with my subs. But alright, let's get to these these up. These are the good packs right here, or they should be good packs. If not, at least I get my coins built back up. So it's just, I'm hoping for a fighter set card. And I'm gonna try not to sell it. You know what I mean? Oh, let's see. Heavy straight cross, ain't bad. Universal. Jump and switch kick. Duho Choi. So not bad. They're three stars, but three stars are still good. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I can make a fighter with all three stars, and he'd still be, you know, he'd still be a force to be reckoned with. You don't need like everyone thinks they need all five star cards. No, that just takes up your, you know, room on your fighter. You don't need all five star cards to have a good fighter. You could have, you know, all three star stuff and have a good fighter. Got some perks here. Counter puncher. I'll never use that because I don't parry, but for you guys that like to parry, that's a good perk. You know, it is part of the game. You know, I can't really bitch about it anymore. It's just something that happens. That's a good perk. Higher altitude, even though it's level three, I'd, I'd still use that. And MMA veteran minus for movement I don't like, but the punch speed and the 
Grand Pound is pretty good. But these coins here, we are going to sell these. Give me 5,000 more. Send all those to the collection. Now let's do the silver one. The silver one should add some four star stuff in it. Come on, I'm just kind of sitting here trying to use the force before I open it to hope I get something good here. Armbar, flying armbar at that. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu reversals. Oh, it's only level three. Oh, that's all right. I, I'll still put that on. Probably be my woman. I don't think if she has that. But this arm bar is pretty cool. Outside trip, single car. I might, you know, use that. Ooh, the get ups. The get ups for my lightweight. I'm not sure if he has those yet. So I might. I might have to put that on my lightweight. You guys know I like my lightweight. Middleweight, I don't have a middleweight. Woman's band and weight. I'm gonna try to build her up, so a lot of these cards are probably gonna go on her, like the a lot of the universal stuff. Ground finisher, that's not a bad perk if you have a ground fighter. I personally wouldn't use it even if I did have a ground fighter because it only affects the mount. It only affects your strikes from the mount. Karate veteran and kickboxing veteran. Those are both universal attribute cards. So those are pretty cool. 10,000 coins. We're going to sell those, of course. But yeah, not a bad pack right there. All right, this gold pack. Something good, something good. Give me something good. I was hoping for a fire set. I haven't seen one yet. I haven't seen a fire set card. It's kind of weird. I was hoping for a Conor McGregor fire set card or something. At least one of them. Rear knee. It's not a bad card. It's a card I already have. But I will keep it. Ooh. Jiu Jitsu reversals. But yeah, I have this card already on my lightweight but I could put him on so something else I mean on another fighter Jiu Jitsu reversals that's pretty cool that's a four star and it's universal so that even that's even better rear overhand hook head lead uppercut head sambo clinic that's an okay perk if, if you know you have a wrestler but you have to get the ball you lock in the back clinch. So, to me, it wouldn't be worth it. But, you know, if you get the back clinch law, you like to throw your opponent around, that's a good perk. Lightweight, Jiu Elite. That's not bad. Plus four ground defense. Plus four joint sub. Middleweight. Don't have a middleweight. I should really make one. Heavyweight, Jiu Jitsu Elite, that's pretty good. Woman's Band away, that's pretty good. A plus four movement. 25,000 coins, yes, I will sell those. And my coins are being built back up, guys. I'm up, almost up to 60,000 again. So I'll probably do some more pack openings soon. And when I do that, I'll probably get some fights. But that's it, guys. I got some okay cards. I was hoping for some fighter set cards, but. Sometimes you don't get those. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really helps out the videos. It helps out the channel. Also, if you're new around here and you'd like to see more, smash that subscribe button. But as always, have a good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.